Hey there, this is Taylor Sewell, sales agronomist with YAR North America. This is video one of a two-part series discussing the nutrition of watermelons. In this video, we'll discuss what watermelons need. In the next video, we'll discuss why the nutrition source for watermelons matter. This graph shows the whole crop uptake of macronutrients on watermelons with a high yielding crop of 36 tons per acre, which is around 72,000 pounds. Now this study was done on Crimson Sweets in Italy back in 2000, and I realize Crimson Sweets is an older variety, but your agronomic principles are still gonna stay the same, no matter what variety you use. As you can see, the crop mostly needs or has an uptake of nitrogen, potassium, and calcium. These are also the main nutrients required of watermelon in the largest quantity. You'll notice though that if you use nitrogen, for example, and multiply the pounds of nitrogen needed for a ton of fruit by the total number of tons yielded, which is 36, you come up with 108. So for the entire crop, the crop took up 108 pounds of nitrogen. You're probably wondering, if you're saying this, Taylor, are you trying to say that's all the nitrogen I need to put out? And my answer is no. We have to make up for the fact that plants are not 100% efficient in taking up nutrients. Of course, there are many factors that can play into inefficiencies in plant uptake, such as leaching, not getting the nutrient in the root zone, your fertilizer source, and many other factors. And just because I'm only showing these five nutrients, we can't forget that all of the plant nutrients are essential. They are just required in different quantities. And if any single nutrient is lacking, then the crop will suffer and yields or quality will also be impacted. This graph goes along with the one I just showed you. However, this is broken down into pounds of nutrient uptake per acre per day. The main takeaway I wanna point out here is that these numbers along the bottom are days from transplant. And if we follow the line representing each nutrient, we can see there are peak times where a particular nutrient is in a higher demand. At Yara and with general nutrient management, we believe it's critical to crop success to make sure we are giving the crop what it needs, when it needs it, or even just a little bit before to avoid deficit. Again, you'll notice that nitrogen, potassium, and calcium tend to be in the highest demand from the crop. Let's talk about when and why the plant is taking up these three particular nutrients at certain times. The need for nitrogen starts to increase from transplant to first flower, and there's another uptick when the vines are starting to stretch. The peak and where the need for nitrogen really starts to slow down is during early fruit growth. Moving on to potassium, you'll notice that the uptake and plant demand for potassium is much higher than any other nutrient, even nitrogen. The biggest peak for potassium is during fruit fill and sizing. It's important to maintain sufficiency because potassium plays a big factor in how your melons are going to size and also how good they're going to taste. The needs for calcium is also pretty high, and it's critical to make sure that the plant has adequate calcium prior to first flower for root and shoot development. The peak is just before and during fruit fill and sizing. Calcium plays a very important role in maintaining cell wall integrity, which helps manage disease pressure, overall fruit quality, and overall plant health. And who wouldn't like to get that extra cut in a good market? We went over what watermelons need and when they need it. Please check out the next video to learn more about why your nutrition source matters. Thanks for listening. I'm Taylor Sewell, your local sales agronomist. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at the information below. Thanks.